Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be on this Razer E300 and how to swap out the dead batteries for a brand new set of batteries. So just this afternoon, I picked this scooter up off the side of the road. Well, I'm just driving home here and going down the back street and look what we've got here just on the side of the road. We've got a what looks like an electric scooter and on the verge, it's got, looks like it's got the power supply and everything there. Let's jump out and have a look at it. Oh, well. Oh, look at this. There's a note on it as well. Let's see what it says. Free to good home. Doesn't switch on or charge. Well, let's have a look at this thing. Far out. Looks in pretty good condition. So she's a Razor. I'd say she's a Razor E300 for the size of those wheels. And look. The tyres don't even look worn out. She's still got the, she's still got the knobs on the tyres. I don't reckon this thing's ever been written. And had this free to good home, won't switch on. So I've already had a quick look at it, and you can see it won't switch on. But if I grab the uh, power supply, plug that in, just like this, we can see that then it powers up. Now, you may have seen some of the other videos that I've made in the past. There's a whole series of fixing up Razor scooters. I'll put a link in the uh, video, somewhere up there, of uh, the repairs that I've previously done. Well, I know that chances are that the batteries are dead. So I, I've popped out and I've bought a brand new set of batteries, but I'll put a link in where you can get the uh, batteries at a pretty reasonable price in the video. Uh, so do, to do this job, you really need a screwdriver, a three mil Allen key, pair of pliers, and you will need a soldering iron as well. But let's get it apart, and I'll show you that when we get to it. All right, so to get into this, let's start with the three mil Allen key on these middle screws here. So it really is pretty simple, getting those undone. And what we'll do is we'll actually put these down um, in a pattern because I know from experience that the screws that come out front to back are actually all a different length. So I put them down in a pattern so that then we go to put it back together, makes it really simple. Now, when we get to the back two screws, that's where you actually need a pair of pliers because there's actually a nut underneath. So we'll just slide the pliers underneath like this and we'll just jump onto the uh, nut and then we can get onto it with the screwdriver. I think it's actually a lock nut from memory so you have to hold the pliers there the whole time. There we go. And as I said, I'll just show you, you can see it's a little lock nut there. Just put those down in order. And we'll get the last one out right here. There we go. Now we'll just show you how I've put the screws down on the ground here. So you can see what I've done. I've got the back two, the ones with the Allen come in next, the next two and the front two. So you can see the, from the screws, they're all slightly different length and that's why I've laid them out like that. So let's take the cover off. All right, so you can see looking at this, that these batteries here, they're actually swollen. So I would say what's happened with this is that this was actually left on the charge probably for an extended period of time. Who knows, maybe it wasn't used at all for a long time and then they put it on the charge and just left it on the charge. But for whatever reason, these batteries have swollen. What is interesting though about this Razor scooter, and it's kind of what I said down when I picked it up off the side of the road, is it's like it's never actually been ridden. Like you can still see the um, the little bits of rubber that stick out of the tire, both on the front wheel and the back wheel. So essentially it's a brand new scooter. Um, and I can tell visually these batteries 
um, are clearly faulty. So, look, let's stop talking. Let's get the new batteries in. So, we need to get this strap off. Sometimes these can be a little bit hard. Yeah, this one's tight, so you should be really careful. There we go, crack that. So you see I've just pressed into it with a fair bit of weight, pushing down, because I didn't want to strip the head of that screw, because we might as well put it back, the strap back if we can. Now a little trick, once you've got the bottom one off, you can kind of flex the whole thing together like that, and that just helps you ease it off. You saw the way I did that there. Because these tight screws, I don't know why they do them up so tight from the factory to be honest. But every one of these that I've ever pulled apart, I've seen the same thing. I just can't get over how swollen these batteries actually are. There we go. They were, they were kind of, like I say, stuck together there. And let's get this one tipped up as well. Wow. Look at the dimples on this side here, how it's really expanded. Certainly been overcharged. Only thing that could have happened here. So in the past, you may have seen me actually use spade connectors when I put alternative batteries in razor screeders. I'm not actually going to do that this time. And that's because what I've found is that when the kids are riding these scooters, when they go over bumps, those bay connectors tend to fall off no matter how tight you do them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut these off and I'm just gonna hard solder. I'll put a bit of heat shrink on just so that there can't be any uh, shorting. But that's what I'm gonna do with this one, um, just so that it's absolutely foolproof. So let's just go ahead and uh, cut these off. All right, let's get that battery out and then I've got my uh, easy stripper here if you don't have one of these these really are uh, brilliant these easy strippers you literally just put the uh, wire in like that and it strips off however much you want to take really easily perfect And then we will just solder the new battery straight in. So before we forget, let's push some heat shrink up the two of these. Push it up out of the way with plenty of distance. Got our solder here. And I might just put a bit of flux on those just to hopefully make that Solder contact a little bit better. got our two new batteries soldered in um, the uh, black lead on this one ended up a little bit short so I just had to kind of flip it over to the side there but let's test it let's see if this uh, solves the problem so got it on let's just kick it up on the kickstand and there we go folks so let's just pop that off and we'll push the heat shrink down and we'll get that all sealed up really nicely because we've actually soldered those, they just won't come off now, so that's just fantastic. And we'll just use our heat gun just to uh, melt that pink shrink down. reassembling the scooter in the reverse procedure that we took apart. The 
you really can do this in any order. I'm just going to start at the back. Ready to move it that way. Plug the charger in now. All right, so it's showing it's charging with those new batteries in there. So before, with the old batteries, when I plugged the charger in, the charger wouldn't even try to charge the batteries. It was just indicating green. So I'd say it's a good sign now that with the new batteries, it's actually showing that it's charging them. Whilst they're new, they've probably been on the shelf for a few months, so they've drained down a little bit. So. Let's let that charge and then we'll come back in a bit and we'll take it for a test ride once the light goes green. So there you go folks, there's how to quickly and easily replace the batteries in your Razer E300 scooter. I was pretty lucky that I managed to pick this one up off the side of the road, but don't be like those people, don't throw your scooter out that's got dead batteries, just change them like I've shown you here. If you have liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe until next time, have a good evening.